Welcome back to Crossfire X. We are back on this game talking about it again. And before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently sub to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So this morning, I was invited into an Xbox party with a few different people to discuss Crossfire X. Their opinion is they absolutely love the game. My opinion, I enjoy the game. Don't love it, don't hate it. But I hate the development behind it. A few different reasons for those of you unaware. There are two premium currencies in the game. Each of the game's modes only have one map tied to them. And yes, they're adding more maps, but that's early March if they stick to their times. As well as the two premium currencies, they have a battle pass, they have a store, they have a black market. They have a lot of different ways of monetizing the game. Almost like a mobile game. But these people I spoke to basically said this game was designed for one thing. And the more I've played, the more I agree with them. This game is supposed to be Search and Destroy. That's all it should be. What they should have done is prioritized Search and Destroy and had the other modes in there as an optional feature. The reason I say that is you play Point Capture, it's okay, it's a different mode. You play the other ones in Classic, okay, TDM, whatever. Classic, you cannot aim down your sights. It is classic like CSGO. And I've seen quite a few comments of people saying, I've played the classic, I can't even aim down my sights. That's because aiming down your sights is not a feature. You have no attachments or anything. You have a stock weapon and that is it. You have to learn to hip fire. But in the modern mode, you have all that. And these people I spoke to said search and destroy gives you a lot of GP. GP is one of the currencies in the game that is used to unlock your weapons, your attachments and other things like that. You can re-roll the black market using GP. But GP is monetized, which I find to be absolute bullshit. Crossfire points is the other currency in the game that will purchase cosmetics. GP will purchase weapons, attachments, things that are actually going to make a difference to your gameplay. The game does start you off with 5,000 GP, but the rewards that you get for playing matches is incredibly stingy. The reason they've done that is to encourage the microtransaction purchases. I said in the discussion, Crossfire Points, Cosmetics, you can expect it in a lot of games. That's absolutely fine. It's there if you want to purchase cosmetics. If you don't, ignore it. That's what we get in all games pretty much. However, the GP that's used to purchase new weapons should not have any monetization to it at all. And they should be more generous in unlocking it. Keep it there as a feature, 100%. But instead of playing an entire match of point capture, getting 25 kills and getting 24 GP, maybe make it so that you're awarded 50 per match or something like that. Balance it out. Because these people were sat there playing search and destroy and they're getting eight kills, two deaths, and they're being awarded 48 GP or something like that. And they're playing the classic search and destroy, which is by far the best mode for earning GP. Modern search and destroy Stay the fuck away from it. It's terrible. I played a couple of matches on the modern one. You've got your tactical growth thing where you can increase your dash speed. You can increase your damage. You can get ammo on enemy kills and all that sort of stuff. And it's horrible to play. Classic is like your typical CSGO search and destroy. So I played one match of search and destroy on the classic mode. I finished the game 10 kills, 6 deaths. I was awarded 60 GP. So instead of getting 24 and having to play around 80 matches in order to get a new weapon, say the weapon's 2,000 GP, which is the minimum price, the highest is 2,500. So say you're going for a minimum price weapon, 2,000 GP, you're getting 24 per match, it's around 80 matches. These search and destroy games take between 5 and 10 minutes. And that's to play all the rounds, maybe 15. It all depends. But I'd say the longest you're going to be in a game is around 15 minutes. The quickest, I've seen them end in 5 minutes. But for this match, 10 kills, 6 deaths, I got 60 GP. So if you take the 80 plus matches you need to play of point capture or any other mode in the game pretty much, TDM even, you take the GP you're earning, 80 plus matches to unlock a weapon. Yes, I know it's search and destroy. You only get one life per round. And there are multiple rounds. If you die, you've got to spectate. All that sort of stuff. Search and destroy isn't for everyone. 
But going from point capture, 80 plus matches per weapon to unlock, you go to search and destroy, and it's around 33 matches per weapon to unlock. 10 kills, 6 deaths, 60 GP. That's over double GP that I earned in point capture for around the same amount of time. It might have even been quicker. So a little tip, if you want to play this game, if you're enjoying this game and you want to unlock all the different weapons and try them, definitely play Search and Destroy. It's by far the best mode, but the problem with it is the developers might pick up on the fact that Search and Destroy Classic is so powerful for players earning GP. GP is a way they've monetized the game. They might nerf the rewards. That's something you see really often. If there's a cash exploit in GTA, they're patching it. If there's a gold bar exploit in Red Dead Redemption 2, they're patching it. Anything that a company monetizes, they will typically nerf it. And that's because if they keep it available to players, they lose out on money. And typically when they're losing money as a company because of these exploits and different farming methods players are found because they're not all exploits. And playing Search and Destroy is not a fucking exploit. It's playing a mode in the game. But if the developers get hold of it, they will probably nerf it within a day or two because they're losing money from it. Whereas everything else that they are developing and stuff for the game, all the bug fixes, implementing new maps, all that stuff has to wait. And that's what does my head in. If you take a look at the campaigns, I know it's separate to multiplayer, but you take a look at the Crossfire X campaigns. Operation Catalyst, Operation Spectre. The paid version of Catalyst will work out of the box because you've paid for it. However, Game Pass, three days later, still don't have access because it's free to the player. They've received money from Microsoft to have the campaign on Game Pass, so they no longer need to make money from it. And by people downloading it for free, they're not going to make any extra money. So they don't care and they will take their sweet ass time fixing that. But if there was a problem with the campaign not working for the paid version, that would be fixed a lot faster. And notice how there are no problems with the paid version because people are paying for it. Sometimes you will be able to counter this. Some people are having problems with the paid battle pass. But then you've also got to think of... The battle pass has been purchased. It's not working for the player, but the money's already there. So unless that player has a big voice in the community and can put people off, they're not really bothered. If you have 100 people playing the game and there are two that are having issues with the battle pass, the other 98 are not, they're not going to do anything because the majority are absolutely fine with it. So as I said, if you're wanting to play this game, if you're enjoying it, jump on Search and Destroy because you're going to earn GP to unlock your weapons, your attachments and stuff way faster. But at the same time, it's a load of bullshit how it does work. GP should not be monetized in this game. All modes should be way more generous. I get that it's a free-to-play game, but there should not be such stupid grinds in games like this. And then I totally understand a lot of people. If I wanted to play Search and Destroy, I'd go play it on another game. If I wanted to play something like CSGO, I'd go play CSGO. I totally get all sides of the argument. But my side is, why have they monetized two currencies... Why is there only one mode that's being quite generous? Why is nothing in this game being fixed? And then people are going to say, oh yeah, but the matchmaking was fixed. Yeah, that took them a few hours because without matchmaking, the players are going to leave. If they're having a queue up for five minutes plus to get into a game, they're not going to play the game. They're going to get pissed off, play something else. If they jump into point capture and everyone's abusing the boogeyman and everyone's got it, the player's just going to play a different mode on the game. Matchmaking will prevent people on the game, and that's where they need players on the game making their money. So they'll fix problems like matchmaking straight away. However, issues with the ADS on the car 4, people will just use a different weapon. So they'll still be on the game using another weapon, so that's not a prioritized fix. So I thought I'd bring you all this video to let you know about Search and Destroy. It's actually quite fun if you are playing, as, a, like, as we all know. There's barely any aim settings, the controls are clunky, but if you want to play the game, you want to enjoy it, you want to unlock your weapons, search is the way to go in the classic mode. You won't be able to aim down your sights, but you will be able to shoot some people, get a couple of kills, and boom, you've got some GP. And then if you want a tip for a weapon, I unlock the T-14, and it's a pretty good gun. It looks like a marksman rifle, but it's full auto, and it's a lot of fun to use. So right now, as it stands, 
my opinion hasn't changed. The game for how it's been built is complete shit. The gameplay can be fun if it's working, if the controls aren't clunky. But the bugs need to be fixed. The campaign needs to become available to Game Pass players. And they need to do it really fucking fast. Because this game will drop off incredibly quick. People aren't going to have the patience for it. One map on each mode. One mode pretty much being the only one worth playing. But what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.